Responsive design goes a long way in making a website usable. Let's take a look at Gizmodo, which has a pretty awesome responsive design. Let's see what happens as we change the size of the screen. Let's make it smaller and smaller. Oh, and there we go. Now the ad disappears on the left and we have the stories expand downward, keep going. And look at that, the stories on the left side of the screen disappeared and we're just left with the list. This would be great on tablet. This is perfect for tablet. Let's make it even smaller. And now we've got our mobile view. We can see that it's nicely laid out to fit within a nice thin screen. This is an awesome example of responsive design because it changes to fit the size window that it's got. The way this is accomplished is with media queries. Gizmodo used media queries to change the CSS of their page as the screen got resized. Using media queries, you can change your page's CSS depending on what type of device somebody's using, whether it's a mobile screen or it's a desktop screen, uh, how big it is, its height and width, or even the color of screens. Go figure. Let's take a look at a media query. Inside the site's CSS file, I've added this media query. We know it's a media query because it starts with at media. We start off every media query with at media, then we have the keyword only, which is going to help us with older browsers. Then we have this keyword screen. This media type here, screen, is telling us that this media query applies to any kind of screen, whether that's the tablet that I've got here, your desktop computer, your laptop computer, or your phone, they all count as screens. You might see print here. It's fairly common for websites to style themselves differently if they know that somebody's going to print something out. Then we have the logical operator and, and a condition within parentheses. In this case, our condition is max width 300 pixels, which is telling us that this media query should apply only if the width of the screen is smaller than 300 pixels. If these two conditions match when the web page opens, we apply these styles, which in this case is changing the background color of all the paragraph tags to blue. So if we open up our website and resize the screen to make it smaller than 300 pixels, we should see a blue background behind all of our paragraphs. Let's see if it worked. I will save it and open up Chrome, and let me refresh the page just to make sure. This is a little different than what we had before. I've simplified it quite a bit. We only have one paragraph, and it's right here. Let's make the screen smaller. I'll grab right here and shrink it, shrink it, shrink it, shrink it, and there we go. We hit the media query, and the background turned blue. For this quiz, I want you to experiment a little bit. Which of these media queries will make paragraphs disappear when screens are smaller than 500 pixels? In the instructor notes, you'll find a sample HTML file, which should look pretty familiar. Try adding these styles to main.css and see what happens.